This is question number two. In part eight, we're asked to use the trapezium rule with five ordinates or four strips to find an approximate value for the integral from one to five of one over x squared plus one with respect to x, giving our answer to three significant figures. The question carries four marks. Informally, we can say that the integral using the trapezium rule will be approximately equal to h over two. We will have the first plus the last, plus two lots of all of the other values in the middle added together. So let's have a look at what we're going to have. We're integrating from one to five. We've got four strips or five ordinates. That tells me now that the strip width will be one. So I can state now that the integral from one to five of one over x squared plus one with respect to x will be approximately equal to, and it will be 1 over 2. So all I've done is taken h to be the strip width. Strip width is 1. I'm going to evaluate the first, which will be the f of 1. Then I will evaluate the last, which is going to be f of 5. And then I'm going to add to that two lots now of the f of 2 plus the f of 3 plus the f of 4. So let's go ahead and do that and then we can find an approximation and round it to three significant figures. So this is going to be approximately equal to 1 half. If I do the f of 1, subbing in 1 here, 1 squared is 1, this is just going to give me 1 half. If I sub in 5, the f of 5, that's going to give me 25, so I'll have 1 over 26. All I'm doing is simply subbing in now the values, plus two lots of the f of 2. If I sub in 2, I'm going to get 1 over 5, plus the f of 3, which is going to give me 1 over 10, plus the f of 4, which is going to give me 1 over 17. So in a calculator, we'll find this value and then round our answer accordingly. So we're going to have now 0.5. So we've got 0.5. And then we're going to have now 0.5 plus 1 over 26. If we just write this in, 1 over 26. Then we'll have now two lots. So two lots of 1 fifth, which is 0.2, plus 1 tenth, which is 0.1. And then we're going to have now the final value, which is going to be 1 17th. So plus 1 over 17. We'll close the bracket off and then get a value for this. So closing the bracket, that gives me 694 over 1105. So 694 over now 1105. I need to give my answer to three significant figures. Three significant figures, 0 0.628. So we can say now therefore 0 0.628 and that now is given to three significant figures. So that's the first part done. In part B, the first part asks us to find the integral of x to the minus 3 over 2 plus 6x to the half with respect to x, given the coefficient of each term in its simplest form. The question carries three marks. So with this particular integral, we simply need to raise by a power, divide by the new power, and add a constant of integration. So we can say that the integral of x to the power of minus 3 over 2 plus 6x to the power of 1 half, we're integrating with respect to x, will be equal to, raise by a power and divide by the new power, x to the minus 1 half, divided by the new power of minus 1 half. Then we'll have now plus 6x to the power of 3 over 2, we will divide by the new power of 3 over 2, and add our constant of integration. So we can see from here now that we're going to have minus 2x to the power of minus 1 half. If we consider this now, this is going to be plus 4x to the power of 3 over 2 plus our constant of integration. So three marks in total for part B1. In part B2, it says, hence, find the value of the integral from 1 to 4 of x to the minus 3 over 2 
plus 6x to the half with respect to x. The question carries two marks. So all we're doing is simply now evaluating from 1 to 4. Therefore, what we will have now is the following. I'm going from 1 to 4, so this is going to be minus 2x to the power of minus 1 half plus 4x to the power of 3 over 2. And the values we're interested in now are 1 and 4. So let's go ahead and evaluate this. This is going to now give us the two marks. We're going to have now minus 2. I'm going to have 4 to the power of minus 1 half. This is 1 over the square root of 4, which is going to give us 1 half. Then I'm going to add to that 4 lots of x to the power of 3 over 2. We take the square root, which is 2, and we cube the answer, which is 8. From this, I need now to subtract when we evaluate 1. So when we're going to evaluate 1, that will give me minus 2 lots of 1, as 1 to any power will give us 1, and then we're going to have plus 4 lots now of 1. So if we just work this out, we end up now with minus 1 plus 32, and if we consider this now, this is going to give us 2, we need to subtract 2, so taking the 2 off, and that is going to give us a total of 29. So all I've done is evaluated the integral, I've put in 1 and 4, and then tidied the answer. Number.